These games are ranked by PlayScore, a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. First on the list is Night in the Woods. The PlayStation 4 is home for indie games too. Journey did the same thing when it shaped the future of independently developed games. This time, Alec Loka's Kickstarter-funded game managed to tell a resonating tale of a young girl struggling with life's biggest questions. Roam around its quaint little town and talk to anthropomorphic creatures with memorable stories to tell. There is no violent combat involved in this game, nor any fighting involved. It's just pure storytelling fun. It lost against Hellblade under the category of Games for Impact, and walloped against Cuphead's charm with being the best indie game of the year during this year's Game Awards. However, it was still notably praised for its thoughtful narrative and mature themes. It has a play score of 8.91. 9 is Next Machina. No, it's not Square Enix's cyberpunk version of the world. It's a bullet hell twin stick shooter that leaves you with carpal tunnel problems. Created by the dudes behind Rezogun, it focuses on an idea of pure action, destruction, and competitiveness set in the bleak dystopian future. It is as intense as it is unforgiving, but the game's tight soundtrack accompanies your journey as you unleash voxel-based destruction in every corner. In its cable punk future, eliminate machines before they take over humans for being the most superior race. Use your wide array of weapons to dominate its over 100 levels. It is a satisfying visual trip and the game's homage to the classic arcade atmosphere is on point. If you like twin stick shooters, Next Machina is just for you. It has a play score of 8.91. Number 8 is Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Yeah, we all know Nathan Drake is now retired with his globetrotting business. This spin-off puts the camera of two of the most badass female characters in the game, Nadine and Chloe. It's female power as you help them retrieve a mysterious Indian relic. The stakes are higher and danger lurks in every corner. It's a race against time as you maneuver through difficult challenges and jaw-dropping action sequences. It still contains the same explosive charm of the original Uncharted games, without Nathan Drake. It was well received due to its visual splendor and heavy attention to detail. Knowing Naughty Dog, they put so much effort with their immersion to the game itself. Gunplay and combat is also widely praised due to its sleekness. With its success, we can't wait for what lies for The Last of Us 2. This game has a play score of 8.92. 7 is Final Fantasy IX. Once a landmark in its time, Final Fantasy's ninth major entry was one of the leading contenders for the best of the whole series. It gave us a brand new 3D experience. Square Enix brings back this beloved game to their modern console, with added tweaks. Control the charming bandit Zidane and his crew of Tantalus Thesbians as they work together to kidnap the beautiful Princess Garnet and save her from her royal woes. Roam around the land of Gaia, learn about the secret of the crystal, and destroy an evil force that looms about their world. Similar to last year's Final Fantasy VII release, it has enhanced visuals, new HD cutscenes, trophy support, and boosters to help players level up and master weapons efficiently. Everything you love about the game is still here. It has a play score of 8.92. 6 is Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. The second Final Fantasy game on our list. Compared to 9, this was also one of the PlayStation 2's most iconic games. Return to Dalmasca in this beautiful remaster of the sky-soaring, wall-destroying characters of Final Fantasy XII. Named the Zodiac Age, the game promises to enhance most of the concerns from the community, including game balance, remastered graphics, and a whole new challenge mode. Its international Zodiac job system brings a whole new approach to the progression. This puts your characters to unique specialties and skills that was once a missing feature during the original game. Though the updates seem huge, it's still pretty much the same game. Get caught in its political conspiracies and difficult boss fights. And also, don't listen to Ondor's lies, because this game has a play score of 8.92. 5 is Nair Automata. It's 2017. The age of sexy witches and wizards are no more. Yoko Taro's creation gave us a smoking hot android in a tight black dress. A spin-off to the Dragon Guard series, enter a desolate future in a post-apocalyptic Earth. Follow a group of android units designed to protect humanity after an alien race conquers the planet. They seek out missions, find leads, and fix the cause of the mysterious happenings behind God's green earth. 
as to be secure the future of mankind with your badass skill sets and high flying hack and slash action. Combine heavy and light attacks with precision and style. But that doesn't where the game shines. With its 26 unlockable endings, uncover the game's massive secrets and complex story. It was universally praised for its smart narrative, lovable characters, and epic award-winning soundtrack. It receives a play score of 8.97. Fourth place is Sonic Mania. Sonic Returns! Sega brings you into a new yet familiar adventure to our favorite Blue Hedgehog. This latest Sonic game brings back the trademark pixels of his 2D form. There will be a handful of new surprises and features that aim to rekindle the nostalgia of the classic. Sonic Mania brings new life to their renowned stages, running their HD graphics in today's standard 60 frames. Relive the ring collecting excitement with new bosses and brand new secrets to discover. It is a culmination of Sonic's best years brought to modern eyes. Forget about Sonic Forces and gotta go fast because the game receives a play score of 8.99. Number 3 is What Remains of Edith Finch A constant reminder that walking simulators aren't over yet. After grabbing the best narrative during this year's Game Awards, follow Edith Finch in her quest to find the truth in a collection of short stories that weaves in like a puzzle-like experience. Solve puzzles in the haunted Washington estate and immerse yourself with the power of the Unreal Engine 4. Search every corner for hidden secrets while feeling the game's absorbing atmosphere. Find out the reason why you're the last Finch alive. Of course, it gained so much respect with its narrative and story. It was Giant Sparrow's next huge game after the hit of Unfinished Swan. Who knows what they have in store for us in the future? Edith Finch has a play score of 9.0. Second place is Undertale. Oh boy, we could just imagine the comment section blowing up right now. An indie role-playing game that doesn't tell you the difference between a good and a bad decision. Enter a magical world filled with creatures with varied personalities and trademark humor. As a young kid, prepare for a journey that fills you with determination. Dig into the deepest crevices of this underground dimension and meet memorable characters. It is your choice to engage in its turn-based combat or befriend them by being patient in each turn. There is no difference compared to the PC version except for an increase in resolution. It's still the same Undertale everyone adores, or hated. It has a play score of 9.22. Here are the runners up before we reveal the number one. Neo. Travel to the land of the rising sun in this brutal action RPG from Team Ninja. Exact your vengeance into a horrifying version of Japan. Fend off yokais and other iconic Japanese creatures in high-stakes third-person action. It has a play score of 8.87. Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice Ninja Theory's latest game takes you to a mad world filled with deafening silence and absolute cacophony. Watch as how this game preys on your psyche. Join Senua as she embarks on a harrowing adventure in Celtic Hell. It has a play score of 8.85. Okami HD Return to a mesmerizing watercolor adventure where you play as Amaterasu in the form of a white wolf. Want a PlayStation 2 classic? Gaze into its beautiful world and use your magical paintbrush to fight and recreate the world around you. It has a play score of 8.84. Pyre From the makers of Bastion and Transistor, Supergiant's latest game introduces a whole new gameplay mechanic that mixes soccer and RPG. Defeat your opponents by delivering a pyre with the help of your team. It has a play score of 8.81. Yakuza 0 Find out the birth of the Yakuza in this brutal prequel of the popular series from Sega. Uncover the origins of Japan's most powerful underground syndicate. Set in the 80s, it brings a whole new feel to the classic open-world Japan. It has a play score of 8.81. You can get these games right now by clicking the link in the description box below. And of course, the best PlayStation 4 game of 2017 is Persona 5. Of course we saw this coming. Taking the crown for being this year's best RPG during the Game Awards, Atlas's latest entry to their SMT spin-off took the gaming world by storm. Follow a group of troubled high school teenagers as they reshape society by stealing people's hearts. 
explore unique dungeons, engage in badass turn-based action, and follow the game's bold attempt at making adults the antagonists. Just like their predecessors, it boasts a powerful message of social change. Critics and gamers love the slick art style, addicting turn-based combat, colorful characters, and of course the game's beautiful soundtrack. You could really tell they stole our hearts, and it gained a play score of 9.42.